Hey guys, I know it's been quite a while since my last video. I've just moved into a new house, but finally got my first video out since moving in here, and that's making these new bedside tables. So the main reason for making these bedside tables is the bed we have has drawers in the side that can pull out for storage. But if you put a normal bedside table next to it, you can't access the drawers. So I decided I'd try and make a floating bedside table that comes out of the wall, and while I was at it, I'd put power and lighting in it. Let's see. To start off with, I had a 1200 by 1200 sheet of plywood, which I cut down to size. I also cut some grooves into it so I can have some nice slotted pieces inside to give it a good grip. To install the components, I had to measure out where they'd go. First of all, drill the holes for the screws, but then in most cases, I also had to clear out some space where the actual components would sit through the wood. So next, I just have to glue up all the pieces. I didn't use any tacks or anything, just glue and clamps, which I think has turned out alright. I did use these red corner clamps, and they're really useful. It helps you get a really square edge for any joints you make. As you can see, some pieces didn't fit properly, so I had to take a circular saw to them, trim them down, and much better the second time. More glue, more clamps, and it's really starting to come together. I realised where I cut the grooves for it, it left holes in the sides, so I just trimmed off a little bit of the offcut, jammed it in there while the glue was still wet, it worked well. The back piece came next, so you can see that again, glue's on. I really struggled with the clamps here, so I decided eventually to take the feet off the clamps, because I think they were just able to reach. If I took the feet off, they could reach a bit better. Last piece of wood to attach here. On the top, slots in nicely, and again, a couple of clamps and let that dry. To finish it off, I gave it a rough sanding all over to get it smooth, take down some of the edges, and followed that up with a coat of tongue oil. I found this really brought out the grain nicely, didn't leave it too dark, although I had to consider going a bit darker. So I've put on a layer of oil, I'm going to give it another layer maybe later on. Then I've got a friend who's an electrician who's going to install the components. Once I've finished that, I'll put it on the wall and we'll see how it goes. When working out how to cover the light, my first idea was to paint the inside of a jar, but as you can see, this caused weird shadows. I then 3D printed a design, but the colour of the filament really shows through too much and I don't have any clear white filament. I really like this design, it's just some hessian and some paper glued around a Voss water bottle, but the overlaps in the hessian and where the edge of the paper is didn't really look great, so I eventually went with this design. The Brony style lamp really gives the room a nice ambience and the silhouette just looks amazing. To make this, I started out by laser cutting some bits of wood that were previously cut to size. I realised I probably should have used the laser to cut the outline of the wood as well because it cuts much more accurately than I do and I did have some issues where I did um, have slight different sizes in my wood. Next up I used the corner clamps again to glue all the edges together. It's much more fiddly to try and do small bits like this but eventually I got it all nice and lined up and it worked well. As you may have noticed, this video was shot over a very long period of time. I was kind of hoping to finish it within the first week or two of moving in, but working a lot and, you know, all the stress of moving in and lots of jobs to do took me quite a while. I also haven't fully set up my workshop. You can see only towards the end of it I actually use a workshop bench, like the bench I'm going to use for my workshop, but even then it's still just sitting outside in the backyard. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Maybe plywood wasn't the best. It gives it a cool industrial sort of look but some older, richer wood probably would have been better. One issue I've realized is there's nothing holding in at the bottom, so when you try and pull something out of the plug, it can shake off the wall a bit, but, you know, we're not really gonna be unplugging and plugging things in there a lot. Some other things you might not have seen that I've done is I've put some extra brackets inside to give it a bit more support. I've screwed uh, another block in to hold the cable in place so it can't just get pulled out. And I think there's still gonna be a few more things I might do. I might trim these down a little bit and at the moment the light cover is just kind of 
sit there, not entirely stable either. I might put some magnets in so when it sits down, it locks in place, level off the top, give it a bit of a better look. Some things I might have done differently, probably maybe used a bit of a thicker wood or as I mentioned, some sort of, you know, scrap wood, give it a better look. Probably put different paper inside this, this is just printer paper, but if I'd gone to Officeworks and got some, you know, fancy paper, it might have looked a bit better. And probably going to switch it out for some softer globes because they're very, they're very cool white as you can see, which they give it a good look through the Veroni lamp, but trying to read at night, it's a very bright glare. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to try and make some more videos like this. This is what I enjoy. I like making things. So maybe the next couple of videos, hopefully not going to take as long, but thanks for watching.